Hey everyone, Allison Burry here, and I'm in New Orleans. The beautiful French Quarter of New Orleans, with so much to do and so much to see. This isn't my first time visiting here, but I love a free walking tour in cities. So I took this one with a company called Free Tours by Foot. I took a historic guide of the French Quarter, where I found out about the different styles of architecture and how this part of New Orleans became what it is today, along with a bunch of other hidden gems. There's always more to see, like the Louis Armstrong Park on this beautiful spring day. Good morning, America. How are ya? I'm in the city of New Orleans. And today I am going on a brunch, plantation, and swamp tour that Grayline does. Pretty excited for it. So let's go have a fun day. So my first stop is Oak Alley Plantation where I'm gonna get a tour of the house and then it's time to have some brunch. So let's take a look inside. Oak Alley is an 180 year old sugar plantation where the Roman family lived with their six children. During the 1840s and 50s, the sugar cane they produced at this time was practically white gold. However, Oak Alley stopped being a plantation in 1858. The Romans had about 130 enslaved people working for them and this is where they lived on property. Then it was time to get a taste of New Orleans with a delicious brunch on the plantation. At the second plantation tour stop at Laura Plantation. Through the general store, you are brought to a Creole sugar plantation of 1805. Built as a raised Creole carriage, it was symmetrical, so the breeze would be able to go through the entire house. This is where the Duparks lived, along with over 300 people on the plantation who worked for the family. They believed that the kitchen should never touch where you sleep, so all the cooking and preparation happened back here. So the last part of the tour is going on a swamp ride, which I'm most excited about to see some gators. And out on this bayou, boy did I see some gators. I got very lucky on this warm spring day because gators only come out if it's 80 degrees or warmer. Along with the gators, there were raccoons, turtles, and other animals living in this swamp. Swamp means water is on land, which is what we are riding on. There are only alligators here, no crocodiles. Those hang around the Florida Keys. But my favorite moment of the tour happened right here. I'll see you later, alligator. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is so cool. Good? Yes. You wanna go? I'll get a later. I'm gonna tell you something funny. You're probably not gonna believe this, I'm gonna tell you something. Hey, bye. Come by. Wave. Hey, bye. Wave. Come on, wave. Oh my God. Today I'm at the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. Now the last time I was here, it was called the D-Day Museum and it was very small, just a few exhibits. Now they have expanded it immensely. I'm so excited to go check out what's inside. When you first enter the museum, you learn about the story of America's road to the war. Through galleries, interactive experiences, and more. You can see how the war affected American life and how it was fought on the home front. Then as we walk on the American Spirit Bridge to more exhibits across the street, we start at the Merchant Marine Gallery, honoring the people who risked their life bringing weapons and goods to the US troops. The Road to Tokyo, the Pacific Theater Gallery, depicts the path that led from Pearl Harbor to Tokyo Bay. You really feel as if you're in the Pacific with interactive displays, replicas, and artifacts, along with personal stories of soldiers who fought with their heart and soul. I got my museum all campus pass to include Beyond All Boundaries, a 4D film narrated by Tom Hanks, which I highly recommend you see. The Road to Berlin, the European Theater Gallery. The museum did a wonderful job again, depicting what the soldiers went through during this time in Europe, covering everything on land to up in the air, right up until when we hear that the war in Europe is over. Can't come to New Orleans without a ride on the Mississippi River, and I'm doing it on Steamboat Natchez. Natchez greeted me with the playing of the calliope, which carries on the old tradition of playing 15 minutes before boarding. Come on board. Not only is this an evening jazz dinner cruise, but it comes with some education and history too, where you can see and learn how exactly they get the steamboat to work. Did you know that the speed of the boat is controlled by steam? Well, it is, and I found that out from frolicking around here. Then it was time to relax with some jazz from the Dukes of Dixieland. 
And this is what it looks like from the captain's deck. <laughs> As we head down the river, we pass the Domino Sugar Factory and Shalmet Battlefield, where the Battle of New Orleans was fought. This was the most perfect way to end a wonderful visit in New Orleans. So until next time, I'm Allison Berger, and don't forget, I'm fun-sized.